Hi, I'm Tina Overbury and I just posted a video about Your Voice Matters and so I thought I'd better share my voice more than just a call to action. So here, here I am. Oops, can you see this? Yes. So again, my name is Tina Overbury. I'm a mom of three and I'm self-employed. And my voice about this strike and action and <laughs> the schools being closed right now and it's September 5th makes me think about what school meant for me. I'm 43 years old and school for me in elementary school and in high school were pivotal times for me in my life. My mom died when I was in grade 3 and my dad died when I was in grade 11. And I know we pay teachers to educate and we pay principals to govern and guide and we pay uh, you know the playground staff to make sure we're safe and and we pay the janitors to keep it clean and we pay the the lunch ladies to serve our children and keep them healthy and uh, and all while all that is true one of the one of the other big pieces that is kind of an intangible is that school represents the whole world for kids and for me when I was eight and for me when I was 16 my school was like my other home and my teachers were my teachers I actually thought they didn't were anybody else's teachers they were my teachers and I still think about about Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Ormiston and um, Mr. Drummond and uh, Mrs. Marich, who was my kindergarten teacher, and uh, and then in high school, Mr. Turner, Mr. Kalmar, Mr. Burns, Mr. White, Mr. Zahar. Wow, there's a lot of misters. <laughs> That's really funny. A lot of misters. Anyway, uh, Mrs. Wilson. I think about all of those those people as as mentors and and those pivotal times in my life when I needed I needed a mentor I, I, I needed some guidance it was school where I found it when I think about the learning that I got in school I was an arts kid and I didn't actually think of myself as a very smart kid I was always an expressive kid but there were it was being in school where I had some insights that I am kind of smart and uh, and in some places I might even be a little bit exceptional but that didn't happen at home that happened in school so this whole thing with the teachers not, not I don't mean to say the teacher strike I actually mean to say the job action with all of this sort of lockout of uh, of the kids and being in school there's way more at risk than just their education and although they get paid to educate they do so much more than educate and as a person as a BC resident as a voter as a as a community member as a, as a mom, as a woman, whatever, as a contributing person in society, I deeply resent being leveraged for anybody else's agenda. And that's what's happening. Not only am I being leveraged and how pissed off I might be, but my kids are being leveraged and their education is being leveraged and their, their kid community is being leveraged for other people's agenda and that makes me mad and it makes me and that um, I lose faith in leadership um, when that happens because I'm being used and I hate that as far as a solution goes I say get to the table tell the truth listen to the truth weigh your options 
Give a little, get a little. Imagine your, what, what, what would you say to your kids if they were in the, in the school playground? Would you not say that? Yeah, you would. So how about do that? And let's be honest and let's be good people. Let's get back to school. Thanks. That's my voice. I'm Tina Overbury. Thanks.